Greetings, this is the Timeshare Traveler, and today is episode 81, Simulation of HDB Max. So, um, the whole purpose of this video is I have both um, uh, Diamond Resorts International and Hilton Grand Vacations, and although HDB Max has not been launched yet, I can simulate what it's going to be based on the rules as I understand them. So, that may vary a little bit, but I thought I'd show those people that um, are... Uh, uh, Diamond International. I can show you the Hilton Grand Vacation side, and those are the Hilton Grand Vacation side. I can show you the Diamond side. So I want to go through that, um, and that's sort of the overview. Um, and I've got different HGV Max levels, and I've got some key benefits that I see in them. And these are just my opinions um, and my, of reading some of the information I've got. And then I've I've got uh, six month searchers, and the, the reason I pick six months, I'll, I'll do it both on the. Uh, DR side and the HTV side is that that's what we're promised if we join HTV Max. So I want to give you a sense of uh, what I see uh, of why you would want to uh, join HTV Max. And I actually did for multiple reasons, but um, so just to let you know. And then I've got a 10 month search, and that's the difference. Um, if you get the Premier Plus, which I just got to, um, you do get 10 months, and I'll show you what those searches look like. And, um, sneak preview i did get one hawaii location on the dri side uh, at the 10 month location so and then i'll go through again and um, why i upgraded to premier plus um, and then that, that's what we'll have for right now and um, let me drop into the details but before i do i'm gonna tell you a little bit of my channel just so you i hope you you can subscribe to the channel and help me with these uh, videos as i make them Hi, my name is Cliff and I'm the Timeshare Traveler. The purpose of this channel is to provide education and knowledge for those interested in timeshares. I've been a timeshare owner for over 15 years. I'm an elite owner with Marriott Vacation Club, Hilton Grand Vacations, and Worldmark by Wyndham. I've also posted over 70 timeshare video reviews of different locations, and I've posted 40 timeshare video tips. Uh, please don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button below and I can be found at Timeshare Trav on Twitter and Facebook, and my website is www.timesharetraveler.com. Well, welcome back. Now I'm just simulating the rules since I own Diamond and HGV. Um, I own the Diamond International Hawaii collection, so I don't own everything, but I, I really wanted Hawaii, so I was very specific of when I did a uh, purchase. And I have that which gives me California, Hawaii, Arizona, and Utah. Um, I own roughly 60,000 points of Hilton Grand Vacation. And so I've got, I'm gonna pick three states. I picked Hawaii, the Big Island, um, California, and South Carolina. And I'm gonna simulate searches uh, at six months in the future, show the Diamond Resort owners access to HTV and show the HTV access um, to Diamond. Um, and then I'll show uh, a 10 month out search to simulate a Premier Plus ownership. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the different um, HTV Max levels and the key benefits. This Again, these are my personal opinion as, as the key benefits. Um, I recommend in one of the sales presentations that you usually share all of them with you because it depends. You know, these are just the ones that I think are the best, but they may not be what you think is best. And the levels, just so you know, are, are going to go up in 2023. So the, the list I have is for 2022. Um, so preferred, which is the first level, it allows you to have two guest certificates. So you can do a reservation and put a guest on it. Um, and a one-time use, so it means 14 days out, you can do, um, you can buy for 18 cents a point um, and then use that um, for the short-term uh, purchases. So you can use cash or use it to upgrade um, your existing reservation. You can have one active search and you get uh, $250 short-term credit. What that means is in the last 30 days, you have a $250 amount you can use every year to just book you know, one night or two nights at a Hilton Grand Vacations. And you, it's the way I understand it, it's a uh, credit, so you get that money back. So the next level is Preferred Plus, and that starts at 22,000. You get one more guest certificate, up to three guest certificates. Um, same one-time use uh, points. Um, one active search, but you get $350 in short-term credit by moving up to the next level. And then the first level premier is at 38000 and you get four guest certificates. Apparently you get more and more guests, the, the more points, more levels you get. Um, but you get one um, 
one-time use, but now it's 30 days, uh, but at the same rate, uh, 18 cents a point. And you can have three active searches. Again, you're starting to have more points, so you may want to do more searches to find your more, your the more sought off or locations. And then the $500 short-term credit up from the 350. And then you get to the Premier Plus, which is the where I am at over 54,000. And you get five guest certificates. Um, probably each one of you are going to make a comment about how you'd like to use one of them. That was a bad joke. Um, One-time use. Now it's at 16 cents, but it's 30 days out five active searches so you can be looking for multiple reservations at any one time and $500 uh, sorry $700 short term credit and added at this level is $250 in a lift credit and what that is is um, going to and from the Hilton Grand Vacation it's like going to the airport or away from it it may may work like going to some tourist things the rules weren't that specific um, in, in the sort of flyer I had so with that more on that later and then Centum, if you get over to uh, plus, if you get over 100,000 points, you get six guest certificates, 30 days at 14 cents, seven active searches, a thousand dollars short-term credit, which means you, if you have a thousand points, 100,000 points, you also get a thousand dollars to do one of the 30-day out deals, and a 350 dollars lift because again you'll have more points, you'll be doing more trips, so it makes sense. So there we go. On to the next topic. Now we're going to do the six month searches and I'll go through the overview. Then I'll you know, cut to the video where I actually did the searches and I recorded my screens as I was uh, doing the searches. So um, I've recorded the searches six months out so people can see availability. Um, I'll start with the Hilton Grand Vacation owners. I have DRI searches for Arizona, California and Hawaii uh, out six months. And then for the DRI owners that are new to Hilton Grand Vacations, I've got a video showing the California, Hawaii, and South Carolina at six months. And just an FYI, I booked a, a California resort less than six months out uh, across the street from the ocean using DRI. And also recently I did less than six months out. Uh, I booked uh, Marbrissa in the middle of the summer. So I was I was a little bit of wait list and got it last minute, but I was able to pull it off. So I'm not finding too bad of inventory. I won't say I get everything I want all the time, and I do get upgrades, so there there are availabilities above what I'm doing. Do a search um, in Arizona. So we just type in Arizona. Oops. And we click on the state, and we're going to go out to February of 2023. So this is six months out. Eighteen, and we're going to just do plus or minus one day, so we get limit the search just to give a sense of what we got. We'll do the search again. This is for people that are Hilton Grand Vacations, and we're going to filter out just to make sure we get only the managed um, resorts. And this is hopefully a good sense of the resorts that we part of the Hilton Grand Vacation HTV Max. So here you have one in um, Payson, Arizona, and six months out looks to be quite a bit. Again, February is kind of it's kind of it's cold there. I don't know if they're skiing. I'm not that familiar with Payson, uh, but you can see there's quite a bit of availability, and the points are relatively low. Even a two-bedroom deluxe is eight thousand, but the studio is thirty-five hundred. Efficiency studio, and you can see quite a bit. Um, here's one in Sedona, which is definitely a, a tourist area and would be very, uh, February would be a good time to be there. And you can see you have studio efficiencies, one bedroom deluxe even, one bedroom. Um, and again, I don't know for sure if everything that's going to be, um, from Diamond International, what's in there. And then there's the Bell Rock Inn, which has lots of availability, it looks to be. Um, so this is a sense... So it looks like if you're in, it's, this would be a good sign that so far um, with, with regards to Arizona, that's the place you usually like to go. You have quite a bit of availability if you're in HGV Max. So it might be worth doing an upgrade with all the additional locations. And then here we have <clears throat> the Ridge, Sedona, you see one bedroom studios. Uh, there's a two bedroom lock off. Um, so looks to be two bedrooms. So again, we're looking out six months and that looks like very much availability. Here's another 
Sedona location in February. That's a good time to be in Sedona. Well, on the cool side, but not bad. March or April would be better, but we're doing six months at, at this point. Again, lots of two bedrooms and so forth. One bedroom, studio. So a lot of availability there. And Scottsdale, which is part just outside Phoenix, or it's part of the Phoenix metro area, I should say. And you have one bedroom and looks to be mostly just one bedroom is available. <clears throat> and then Tucson, which about an hour's drive from Phoenix. It looks like there's quite a bit. Two, one bedroom, two bedrooms. Again, I don't know the specific of all these resorts. Never been to all of them. And Pine Top, this is a sort of, a, a, I think I think this is a, maybe not a ski area, but it's definitely, a, it's up in the mountains, so it'd be snow. And the two bedroom cabin is available. That's pretty cool. Um, I personally would go there in the summer if you lived in Arizona because it'd be nice and cool up in the mountains. Um, but Pine Top is a nice resort area. So there you have it. That's, there's Arizona. Um, okay, let's say you want to do a search of California. You pick California as a state. That way you can see everything. And I booked this out six months from, roughly from today. And I've set plus or minus uh, one day. That way we'll get less and that'll give us a sense of what's out six months. So then you just click on search. And this shows you all the diamond resorts. So this is this is a simulating if you're if you're a Hilton Grand Vacations owner and you want to get a sense. I have some Diamond International, so I can search. I have a Hawaii collection. So this is showing everything in California. And you just expand it. So you can see there's quite a bit. There's a few things here available. Uh, in Tile Beach, and this is six months out. So this gives you a sense of if you um, are an HEV Max and you are currently a uh, Hilton Grand Vacation, six months out, this is what you would see available in Tahoe, which is in uh, pretty amazing. But let me uh, first go in and uh, refine my search here, and I want to get managed because that's only the that's only those that are Diamond Resorts. It's not the affiliates, so that way this will be what's available. And so now you're looking at the Palm Canyon Resort that you've got quite a bit of seven nights. And again, this is just picking. You could expand that filter to more nights, uh, plus or minus. This is within really the um, 11th and 12th and 13th. So it's plus or minus one night. And you can see what's available. I'll leave this. I'll just can scroll and slow down this screen. And then at Lake Tahoe. You can see quite a bit. It's pretty good if you think about it for six months out and you're in the ski season in February. So you can book that and this is a week. There's quite a bit of availability there. Studios, one bedrooms. There's even a couple two bedroom standards. Um, and here's another Tahoe one. You can see there's uh, two bedrooms, one bedroom, so you can do skiing. And this is one here on the ocean. It looks like there's only the one bedroom, but it's available. Um, so you can have a, uh, in February, you can have a, uh, in Ramona, California, in Riviera, there's a one bedroom, the accessible, um, and it looks like it's only available for one week there. So not, not quite the, as much availability, but the one next to it, you have the one bedroom ocean view, so you can get an ocean view looking out six months. Uh, there's a two bedroom. And, and, you know, multiple two bedrooms, one bedroom, and so forth. So there you see what California offers you um, from a perspective. And again, this is people that don't, don't have Diamond International. I'm showing what Diamond International looks like six months out. So if you're in HGV Max and you're a Hilton Grand Vacations, this is what, we, what uh, I'm assuming availability will look like. What we're going to do now is we're going to search Hawaii. And we're going to do it six months out. So I'm going ahead and I clicked on my reservations, and then I clicked on on reservations. And we're going to select Hawaii. Uh, we're, hopefully, we're going to pick the state of Hawaii. Then we're going to go out to February. So we're doing six months. And again, this is for those people who are Hilton Grand Vacations people. And we're going to simulate. Um, we're going to simulate what we've got six months out in uh, Hawaii. And I'm gonna make it plus or minus only 
two days to narrow the search, or one day. Let's do two for Hawaii. I don't expect to find anything here, but because uh, I think that's where owning some of the DRI might make sense. Okay. Oh. Oh, now I got to go and refine the searches and select only the managed because those should be the Modern Honolulu has some availability. Um, quite a bit, actually. And it looks like the other properties in Hawaii do have none, which that would be the um, the ones, the Point at Poipu, and the one on um, Maui, which I can't think of the name of it right now. But anyway, so it does look like, um, I think this this may be part of the uh, collection that's coming. Um, I'm not sure if the modern will be part of Hilton Grand Vacation Max, but if it is, you will have availability uh, seven months out. Um, this looks to be mostly hotels, so this may be, maybe this won't be. Um, yeah, it looks to be hotels, so this may not be be part of it, but it does show that that's avail available within a six month window. California, and again, I've just this is on the Hilton Grand Vacations current site, and, and we're going to go out six months. So we just go here and we go out six months, which will be February 15th. And then we'll go for a week. So this will give you a sense. So Carlsbad Seapoint, which actually is can be difficult to get, but it looks like in February, which is <clears throat> maybe not the best time because that would not be as, you know, kids are not out of school, but you can get the one bedroom plus or the two bedroom plus, which is pretty good. And the Pacific Palisades looks to be very available. Even a three bedroom is available. And in Marbrissa, you can do the studio. Studio Plus, which is higher floor. One bedroom, which that's pretty good. That's a good price. It is, this is the off season, February, so maybe that's why you can get it. But it does show you have availability six months out. I don't know if you'd have availability in June. Or July or August, six months out, um, so that might be more difficult to first. So, and then it looks like there's some two bedroom ones available as well. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I can tell by the eight thousand points. That's the off peak season. The plus is available, and even a, a three bedroom. And then the same one in San Francisco, you actually have to call ahead. So there you have what's available in California. Um, and feel free to back up and scroll through this um, to get a better view of it. Doing a review of six months out for booking and I'm using the Big Island of Hawaii. And this is more for DRI uh, Digital if they're interested in joining HEV Max. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a search and I wanna go out six months. So 8.15, we're gonna go out six months, which would be February 15. Let's just do that, and we'll do it for a week. Okay, so we're looking at Kingsland here. I'm just scrolling through, and you can see there is some availability. So it looks like you can get a one bedroom plus, and you can get a one bedroom premier as well. And then there's the point values that you can see, um, and a two bedroom plus it looks to be available but not really a three bedroom, except for the premier. If you go to Koala Suites, um, looks like not much there. Ocean Tower, you can get a studio. Um, quite a few of the studios. Uh, the one bedroom, that's actually a uh, partial ocean view for a week. That's right on the water, just uh, for those who don't know. Um, we can get a one bedroom from yours, okay. And not the resort view, but you can get the two bedroom penthouse. So you can do the uh, more exclusive ones. It looks like in the six month window, you don't get much of that. But I'm gonna guess the Bay Club, which there'll be more availability, but maybe not. Um, again, you can do it for less than seven nights. OK, 
Okay, so there's not much, not much availability in Hawaii um, six months out, although you can get some availability. It just doesn't look like you can get a full week and there's not a lot of it. <clears throat> six months out for uh, South Carolina. And again, this is primarily for those people that are uh, uh, Diamond Resorts about joining HG Max. So this will give you a sense of what six months out is for that. So we scroll down here. And we'll go out to February 15th. And we'll get a week. It's Again, this would be off peak. So you can see there's quite a bit of availability. I'll now back up. Um, you can see you can get one bedroom ocean front doesn't seem to be available six months out, but it looks like it is sometimes, not just that week. And again, this isn't summer and this isn't spring break. Um, so the amounts are quite low. So you can get a studio, and I believe that even has a full kitchen. Let's take a look real quick. So you can click on here. Studio offers partial ocean view with private balcony, king size bed, full bathroom, kitchen with dining table and two chairs. So there you have it. It's a pretty good uh, booking. So you have quite a bit of availability, and then you also this is um, Charleston. Looks like you can get a studio. Um, again, it looks like that's a little harder to get. Ocean 22, you can get a one bedroom or the two bedroom, all 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 available. And again, uh, Ocean Enclave, a little less availability. Again, not surprising. This would be February. It's not the time you typically go to Myrtle Beach. So again, I guess I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, HB Max, if you're a digital, or sorry, uh, Diamond Resorts International, and you're wanting to see availability. You can do fairly much okay, um, and Hilton Head is a little more difficult to get, as you can see. So there you have the availability of uh, South Carolina um, six months out for those people who would be uh, Diamond Resorts International, or um, that would be the availability you get if you're part of HGV Max. Hopefully this helps you decide whether to be part of that, whether to join. Well, I hope you enjoyed those searches and hopefully you were able to scroll back and forth uh, and, and enjoy them. Um, and my intention there was just to make sure that you made could help you make a decision whether it's worth joining the HCB Max. This section here is very similar. Um, I'm now doing a 10 month uh, search. So this is more to simulate a premiere. So I've recorded searches at 10 months. And again, Hilton Grand Vacation Owners, I did the same states. Now I'm going out 10 months. And for the DRI, DRI owners, I've gone out the um, same 10 months um, on the HTV in the same locations. And this is where I think I'm going to use my loyalty searches, both for the 6-month and the 10-month, to get um, the maximum value out of it. So let me then uh, tell you why I upgraded Premier Plus. Do the search for um, Arizona, 10 months out. And we want to do the state, and we're going to do 2023, and we'll do June, and we'll do the 10th, so the 17th. Cut this back to one day. Again, this would be an example of someone who's in Ilton Grand Vacations and they're close to Premier. If they did an upgrade to get into the Premier side, Premier Plus. They would get 10 months access, and this would give you a, this is kind of the view of what you get. And I have to go in and filter the results just to get the managed resorts because that's most likely those that will be in HCV Max. And okay. So you see huge availability here in Sedona. Studio, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, two bedroom deluxe. Um, and you can see it's a little higher because we're June, so it's it's a little cooler in the mountains, um, but not not too bad. Those of you in Hilton, you can see it's the, it's the thirteen thousand points for two bedroom suite is comparable to a two bedroom on um, some locations as well. And this is in Payson, which is in the mountains, but not as high up. So it would be a little cooler, and you can see it's a little more points. Deluxe cabin, well, I think that means a whole cabin, but 
maximum eight people. That looks pretty good. So I'm pretty excited about some of these things. And um, Tucson, which would be quite warm. Should be a lot of availability there. And notice the point values are relatively low for even a two bedroom because it's warm. But being a good experience to use that as a home base um, and see the area around there. And Scottsdale, I can just tell there's a lot of availability there. Again, it's warm, but might be worth doing. And here's some more Scottsdale. One bedrooms, two bedrooms, studios. So all available. And here's another Sedona, which has a lot of availability, which is interesting because it is, I think June still would be relatively cool. I think the preference is March, April, and May, but I said June would be a little bit warmer, but there's some wonderful hiking in the Red Rocks around there. And looks to be two bedrooms, one bedroom studios available. And the Ridge in Sedona has availability as well. So again, 10 months out, if you're a Premier Plus, it looks like um, if you're close to that, maybe it's worth that purchase to get a Hilton Grand Vacation Max, and you'll get a lot of availability. Again, I only have the Hawaii collection, so I can't tell you about East Coast availability, but based on this, I'm going to say, you know, other than, it, you know, it may be fairly available at the 10-month level. Again, Hawaii was not much. That was, again, but that's not surprising. That's true. And here's Pine Top, which would be cool. Cooler in the summer and it's up in the mountains. And you can still see that. You can get a one bedroom or two bedroom. A little higher point values, which is not shocking given um, that. Cave Creek is uh, just outside of Phoenix. It's part of the Phoenix metro area. It's got a bit, quite a bit of availability. But again, it's summer, so that might not be ideal. There you have Arizona. Here at California, and 10 months out. The state. And that would be June. And we'll take the 10th to the 17th. And we'll do it within just one day. And again, this would be this is for um, people that are on Grand Vacations who might be on the cusp of deciding whether to step into HGV Max. And if they have a chance to be Premier Plus, you get 10 months advance uh, booking. Um, so let's take a search on that. Again, we have to put the filter on to do manage so that that's most likely the resorts that are going to be coming available. Again, no guarantees, but I'm simulating what HGV Max will be. And you can see that you have Lake Tahoe in June, which would be a wonderful time to go hiking and quite a bit of availability. So moving up to um, Premier Plus, if that's possible for you, um, that might be a good move. And then also Tahoe Seasons. Again, I don't know for sure if all these will be in. But you can see quite a bit of availability. So Tahoe in the summer seems like a good thing. Two bedrooms, one bedrooms and studios. Um, Capistrano Beach looks pretty available. Ocean View, not bad. Um, so it looks like the deluxe studio, same, same points. Two bedroom, not a lot more point, points. Um, but it must not be the ocean view. Um, this looks like the two bedroom ocean views are pretty much taken. But let's take a look here. There you go. You do see a two bedroom, but it's uh, no roll in shower. Well, you do have the one bedroom ocean views seem to be available. And. The one at Ramona looks to be all of available. I actually need to find out where that is. Palm Springs in, in June is pretty hot, so that should be available. Um, it looks like you have all the choices. And Palm Canyon. 
Again, I don't know the final list of all the resorts, but this gives you a sense that if you are at the Premier Plus level, you will have quite a bit of access into DRI. Um, so it would be worth potentially joining, doing a purchase to get yourself into HTV Max. So there you have California on the DRI side. Chihuahua, 10 months out. And the reason for that is if you wanted to see if you were close to having 54,000 points, um, you, you could potentially see if it was worth it. So I'm going to go out 10 months. So that would be um, out to June of 2022, 2023, sorry. And instead of the 18th, we'll take the 10th. To the 17th, and we're going to only look at, um, let's do two days. And then we'll do a search. And now we're going to have to refine the research to only those managed, apply the filters. The modern Honolulu looks to be available, but I don't think that's going to be part of your part of the collection. But interestingly enough, so this would be if you wanted to if you want to get to 54,000 points, um, that would put you in the HTV Max Premier Plus, and that would be um, give you availability. And you do have the one bedroom, even an ocean view. That's quite nice. Um, again, this is out in June, so it's, you know, kids might be out of school, so and the point values go even an you know, ocean view for um, 8,500 points, which would be great for that. So there you have Hawaii, which is interesting. You can get some availability in Maui. Um, so you have both, if you're in HTV Max, you'd have the availability, if you're at that level, both to get the Hilton Grand Vacations in Akihe or this one here in Kanapali. California, 10 months, roughly 10 months out. And we scroll down here. And we go out till, I think it's going to be, we'll go out to May, which isn't quite 10 months, but the booking window. So let's do the 7th through the 14th. And you can see pretty much you have quite a bit of availability. So if you're at the cusp and you're a, a DRI owner and you want to, you know, um, get availability, if you do get to the Premier Plus, you would have quite a bit, a bit of availability. Again, my assumption is um, the priorities at, at, at the Premier Plus shows 10 months availability on DRI and I'm assuming the other way around to get 10 months availability on Hilton Grand Vacations but you can see um, you've got quite a bit of that and so it is May but you do see availability um, out in the June as well so this is great you're pretty much not not everything three bedrooms a little tricky and Club Donatello, you have to. Uh, we have to even in the Hilton side, you have to call. So Marissa is a great resort. Um, so there you see, you pretty much have a great um, availability at the ten month window. And then this is a ten month search. Um, again, this is helpful for the DRI people that are might considering going um, becoming a Premier Plus. So we'll go out to May. Let's go 7 to 14. And you can see at Kingsland, which is one of the popular places, the one bedroom is available. And again, we're in the, it's kind of the low season, so it's not quite summer. So availability is not, you know, might be a little bit masked, but it's still 10 months out. It's pretty good. Uh, maybe not everything you'd want, but not bad. And again, this is just a, a flavor. So Kingsland is pretty available. And Kohala Suites, which is not very far. They're all close together in Waikoloa. Um, and there you can see they're all available. Ocean Tower, a little more spotty. That's surprising. The penthouse, um, usually it's the lower point ones that go first. And there's a resort view. That's the, that's a, I'm going to be staying in one of those fairly soon here. Um, and this is what I do. I go out this far uh, when I'm booking my, my trips and uh, 10 months out.
so interesting again the two bedroom penthouse with an ocean view um, is hard three bedroom again the premieres are all the ones in ocean tower and that's right on the water uh, the bay club there's quite a few one bedrooms but looks like some availability um, you can get with two bedrooms more and going all the way down to the two bedroom pluses they're available which is really cool those are they're super huge are like 1400 square feet and there you have it that's the availability for um, Hawaii 10 months out South Carolina this is mostly for the DRA owners because it's, I'm, it's basically showing you the Hilton Grand Vacation um, we're going to go out 10 months so again if you're potentially getting to Premier Plus this might be a value to you again deciding whether you want to be part of this or not so we'll go to May since it's a little booking window issues pick the 7th to the 14th and again we're not quite in summer but we are seeing a lot of availability um, even in Charleston you can get that in May which isn't quite ideal because it's not kids aren't out of school yet so that might not be as ideal I think I'll try to so you can you can move around in here and I'll do that in just a minute an ocean 22 you've pretty much got wide availability this far out less availability at Hilton Head so that's where you stand anyway so that's South Carolina 10 months out um, and I won't be able to show home resorts for many of this because I don't own in these locations but there you have the 10 month availability so if you're thinking about are you on the cusp of Premier Plus this could be an option for you okay why I upgraded to Premier Plus really it's it gets a 10 month booking window because I saw so much availability it was again it was wasn't able to get one of the locations in Hawaii, but I do have um, the um, um, the up I have the ability for that with the Hawaii collection on the DRI side. Um, so I get, and I also have King's Land as a home resort, so I get it on the Hilton Grand Vacations. Um, again, being the Premier Plus, you have more places to stay, so I need more points. Uh, the level of perks were greater than $1,000, and that was really what the cost it took me to get to that level with the, the maintenance fees, the $700 annual credit and the $250 lift credit. That exceeded it, plus there are other benefits. It's hard to do a black and white numbers only thing, but it was, you know, sort of a, it did make me feel good about what I did. And I just, just wanted to mention, I ha I'll leave a note in the a link below in the video, but I actually upgraded by doing a resale first and then upgrading, and not really upgrading the resale, but doing a purchase of over 25000 and that got my resale then to count toward my Premier level. So it was actually lowered my overall cost of doing the upgrade, plus I ended up getting Premier Plus. So it's a, I'll, I'll put the link for that video so you can see what I did. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a, probably a little longer video than some, um, but there's a lot of good information, and I wanted to give everybody a shot. It's sort of simulating. Again, it's not a guarantee. It's not HDV Max. It's not live, but I think my searches and things like that will give you a flavor for those people who are coming from one side or the other um, so you can take a, a sense from both. Anyway, I enjoyed this video, making this video. I hope you enjoyed it too.